The first question is positioning advanced therapies for ulcerative colitis. I think the main and key point is the severity of ulcerative colitis. For a patient who has severe ulcerative colitis, maybe pending a hospitalization or very sick, refractory to steroids, that's still a patient that I will use infliximab as my first line therapy. I use combination with azathioprine, and I tend to use the higher dose of 10 milligram per kilogram. I think the Janus kinase JAK inhibitors are also very appealing in this population. Tofacitinib and now more recently upadacitinib also play a role in that very severe patient. We need more data on the inpatient for the JAK inhibitors. Certainly the infliximab is reasonable in that patient population. For the more moderate patient, not that very sick patient who's pending hospitalization, I think you have some very good choices in those patients. Certainly, ustekinumab and vedolizumab would be very reasonable first-line therapies. Certainly, we can use the anti-TNFs. And I would also say in patients who've been on a 5-ASA and even steroids who are not that sick, I think azonamide would be uniquely placed here. The second question is the positioning of therapies for Crohn's disease. Similar to ulcerative colitis, it really depends on the severity of Crohn's disease. The patient who has multiple segments of their bowel, the patient who has fistulizing disease, that's the patient that, again, I will use infliximab in combination with azathioprine or 6-MP, and I'll really push the doses of infliximab in those patients. These are the sick, sick patients. Beyond that, I think we have some very good choices. So ustekinumab or vedolizumab as first-line therapy is also very reasonable in patients who don't present necessarily with fistula, who are not those very sick patients, and we see great benefit in the moderate to severe patients with both ustekinumab and vedolizumab. And then the final question is positioning related to safety. And I think safety is important because there are certain circumstances and in inflammatory bowel disease that we need to consider safety. So if we pause for a minute and think about safety in terms of positioning, certainly I think most of us would agree that vedolizumab and ustekinumab are the two safest therapies we have. And certainly in patients maybe over the age of 60, comorbid diseases, infections, cancers. These would be both very reasonable medications to use. Azonimod for ulcerative colitis may also fall into that category, but we may shy away from anti-TNFs, maybe even the Janus kinase inhibitors. But also don't forget, Undertreatment is an adverse event into itself. So if you have a very sick patient and you think the best therapy is an anti-TNF or a Janus kinase inhibitor, we should not hesitate using that therapy because undertreatment can lead to further complications, even in patients who are older, even in patients who may other otherwise have comorbidities. So with that, thank you.